So, Mama Lou, what's in the pot today? Well, I'm doing like a stir fry veggies, with some carrots and cabbage, mm -hmm. and pak choy, chicken breast. Mm, what's going with that? Rice or? Fried rice. Mm, fried rice, my gosh. Great, man, great. I have some rice left over. Mm -hmm. Which I'm going to. I know you guys don't like leftover food. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to convert that white rice into fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> Disguise it. Mm -hmm. Hope that will make a difference. And this is some nice pak choy and cabbage here. Right. With some carrots. Mm -hmm. Good. Where be your rice now? You enjoy cooking, Mom? Sometimes when I get a chance now, we could ask on anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Today, today I eat made breakfast. I ain't see nothing happening. <laughs> you know that good joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see I nothing. I see nothing happening. So I say, okay, Lou, time to get in the kitchen. Mm hmm. That mustn't be overcooked, eh? Is it? Are you going to move it in a while? Yeah. Why don't you use your um, thing, really? Your, 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 your mittens. I don't, like, I don't like you holding the pots, you know, with your bare hand. You relax and You know, you, you have to caress my face later. I don't want any burnt hands on my face, you know. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do some fried rice. Mm -hmm. I call that pretty, yeah? Orange is always great. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Good thing your mother taught you to cook. I don't think my mother put me to cook. She was already dead. Serious? But you were 11 years old and country girls at that time used to cook early? No, well, no. Hmm? My mother used to do all the cooking. Oh boy. You After feel, you feel guilty about that now? Oh. Hey. No, I was only a little girl, 11 years. 11 years old, girl, and looking to, to cook, at least not in our house. Okay. The little Indian girls maybe learn how to know Sada Rooji and then. Mm. But. I don't think Papa or Masi wanted us too much in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it was a big girl, I see. Mm. And, um, and you tell Liba, when you see Liba movements in the kitchen, you say, oh, girl, well, Liba, come, let's go and eat out. You remember mm. that? Mm hmm. Talking about um, if you feel guilty about things, I was having a yogurt yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I saw the word guiltless mm -hmm. on the yogurt package right and that mm -hmm. seemed to be a, a catchy word for a product okay guiltless but, uh -huh. guiltless so in other words you can have this yogurt because it has some ingredients that are not damaging okay. to the body okay yeah. so you could eat low it low calories low, it you is. could right low calories you could feel comfortable about and your, your, your conscience doesn't bother you. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But let's think about some of the things that are, you can consider, like, um, you know, guiltless. Mm -hmm. A guiltless relationship, where one is treated fairly, decently. Hmm? Mm -hmm. A guiltless, um, yeah, the aroma is, is kind of throwing me off a bit. Um, but uh, guiltless. What do you think about the word guiltless? You know the forum is right to, to focus on me, no? you know. You can sit down and talk to me. No, I, I don't feel guilty about me following you. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel guilty about me following you, right? But really and truly, if one is careful with a relationship, hmm, 
if one is careful about a relationship, let me tell this to you in the meantime. That's all right? Yeah, do something. Do something? Do something. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, so uh, I'm not doing it because I'm feeling guilty, you know. <laughs> That's the thing, you know. We, we shouldn't do things because we feel guilty, but we do things because we feel to be helpful. We Thank want you. to be helpful. Right? Yeah. A, a, a guiltless performance on the job. You're giving your best for your day's pay. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Guiltless would mean you're being sincere. Yeah. I didn't feel guilty about sharing very little with you because in that yoga, because I know you were careful with your sugar content, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't feel guilty at all about that. But tell me some of the things you could feel guilty about in a relationship. If you have a conscience. Well, you've got to have a conscience. Because if you don't have a conscience, you don't feel guilty. Everything that happens in the blue, you're not going to see. So... So, if you have a fair conscience, then you will feel guilty. Mm -hmm. Right? You can feel guilty about not spending enough time together with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, if, you're, if you are a career woman and you find yourself being out a lot, your job, your job takes you a lot away from home, you can feel guilty about that. A man too. Mm -hmm. Because your job is demanding. But some people don't feel guilty about that because they probably got away. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can feel guilty about not spending time with your kids, huh? Yes. Of Valuable time with them. Yeah, because as I say, a lot of times children have extra curricula, curricula yes. um, assignments mm. or mm -hmm. things to do and a lot of the time is the mother really take them you know what I mean? a lot of the time the mother is the one who spend the time taking the kids and so mm. if you go to any school passing by any school Mm -hmm. You will see um, mostly mothers picking up kids. Excuse me, what is this in here? Egg. Oh, egg, okay, okay. Yes. Well, a lot of grandparents too have yeah. gotten involved in that, eh? Meeting kids after school and all that stuff. Yeah, because so parents, parents are, are so busy. Yeah, busy, they're tied up with different things. Mm -hmm. So this chunky veggie, this veggie here is good, doesn't look too overcooked. Yes. Yeah, so um... Yesterday. So, 
You don't throw it away. One day in the fridge is okay. guilty about not providing a meal for your mate. I don't, think, I don't huh? think any woman is guilty about that now. Because they, they're so busy mm. and they have money that they could put in a restaurant and buy food and carry it home. Ah. So I don't think I don't think that especially modern modern care, modern wives mm. who are very busy. You can't be guilty because you're so tired. It's different to long ago in lunch. Things have already changed. Mm -hmm. Women are very responsible in their career life. And they get there. You see, you see many people going home, pulling into Kentucky, pulling into a restaurant. For the for barbecue. Mm -hmm. Because they're not gonna have any time to go and cook after facing traffic jam. So no. I don't think that is something one way to get the about. Okay. So the times dictate the sentiment. Yes, it's a changing world, you know. It's mm -hmm. a very changing world, my dear. I didn't see that in the back door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's there. What is I'm not sure you see my soy sauce, but we have some here from some Chinese food that was bought. What's that one? Soy sauce? Mm -hmm. You're going to put food tiles out of business, girl? <laughs> hmm? Well, if, if you have a, I've had a lot of wives like you, Dan Rice. You wouldn't have so many Chinese restaurants and and so on because <laughs> long ago people believe in cooking their food. All the people who work in long ago, they get up, some people get up and cook in the morning, mm -hmm. and others cook when they come home in the afternoon. Right. But I'm telling you, in the last 10 years, mm -hmm. I don't think that. So this, this meal is almost ready? Yep. Okay. And we have some corn. Some corn. Mm -hmm. Frozen corn. That looks really good, Louis. Oh, because it tastes good. You want to taste it, sir? Hold on a second. Take a taste and tell me what you think. All right, folks, I'm going to sample this thing and see if I should go to the restaurant or go to Sita's Roti Shop. Please, these are getting a little warmer, though. Yeah, the corn. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the corn. Some charming seasoning. Mm -hmm. So I will have to put some in this. Matter what brand? No. All these 
local people so making what decisions. do you have in here excuse me what? in there that part we have bok mm -hmm. choy mm -hmm. cabbage mm -hmm. and carrots and chicken breast chicken breast okay Well, we're gonna eat inside. Cook it, eat it in the back is for when I sign it. So, what I just said, the table from Blue Valley. But that's your old man, really? Oh, share it out? Yeah, share it out for me, please. When I used to share my meal, you know? I can enjoy that. Okay, well, why do you have three plates? That, that are not three plates for you. What about Sana? Well, we'll check him after. He may not want to eat right away. But leave it, um, Valerie, please check. Hey! A little later. A little later, right. This man is good, man. How are mm. we looking? You find your key boy? Looking good, yeah. And how far is it? Where? Where's in your room? Yeah, that's what's the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Well, you can take place some up there. Give me a meal. That's the way I feel. That is for me. That is enough for the hour. Right. Enough for the hour. Here. Mm-hmm. Half plate of veggies and chicken. That's that oh that's great. Enough. Thank you, darling. Appreciate it. Good. More than enough. Thank you very much, Louise. Do we come and go and talk? You can put it there on the table. And you can sit and talk lines. I'm blessed with Valerie, I think not. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna move from here, right? Yeah. You join me at the table. Okay, folks. Shivani, come together in our kitchen. This kitchen is seasoned with love. Okay. Let me get together and see what that is all about. Shivani, if you want a spoon or a knife, a fork. Give me a knife and fork, will you, please? Gather in our kitchen, talk much, sit long, laugh often. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, and of course, Sally, mm. here that is special. your specialty to us. We, we open our home in love. A very place. appropriate place. Mm -hmm. Let me just douse this noise. Behind where the person will sit, otherwise, you'll be sitting soaking. Mm hmm. Mm Okay, Mama Lou girl.
for Kusula. Gopal. Kuchula finish. You can bring two glasses in that's a white beer. Start it up there? Yes, man, go on, boy. Mm -hmm. Riding out. Don't no worry, we don't worry about that, Jesse. While there is no kuchula, darling. Alright, I'll get that glass. Two glasses. Three glasses. Okay, okay. Bless this kitchen with love and laughter. Remember that, Luis? Bless this kitchen with love and laughter. Thank you, Valerie. You're doing a nice job here. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you. Okay, you may sit. Yeah, but you see what I mean? When I'm talking about you, how you're sitting down, they think. Okay. You need to place it in front of you. She's getting there. She's getting there. Valerie's getting there. So, Louise. Let's say grace and then we will. Yes. We we'll chat a little bit. Well, if we have room in our mouth for chatting. <laughs> for I remember so for me. We thank the Lord to thee. And us to I was thinking of one more guilt feeling. I put that teaspoon hand. And that would be it, right? Yeah. You feel guilty about having this meal when you think of so many others in our country, perhaps, not being able to have a square meal? Mm -hmm. I remember reading once, you know, something in another country where uh, the subject was, the subject had a lot of Rolls Royce in the garages. And they had big fancy meals and the question was asked do you feel guilty about having all this wealth while your country suffers such poverty and the woman answered we prayed and because we prayed <laughs> we, we have been successful and blessed <laughs> let them pray also oh my goodness and there was no guilt feeling about it that was a communist country i wouldn't say which country it was but nevertheless the fact is that um, let's hope that the Lord will bless me, really, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, Lou, thank you very much. You've been helpful today and you've been good and kind and we just want to, you know, continue thinking about us too. Greetings to everyone.